Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the food that I have prepared in my refrigerator. Now this is just a way that helps me to stay on track with my, with my eating and my diet. I can tell right now that, um, that things are really starting to change and they have been for about a year now. Um, my body is just functioning a little bit differently. I know that it has to do with age. I'm gonna be 50 in you know a couple months. And so things are just really kind of slowing down. So I have to be a lot more aware of the food that I'm putting in my mouth. Not just that, I also just wanna be more nutritious. Now that I'm getting older, before, you know, whenever I was growing up, it was just all about maintaining the weight that I wanted to maintain, you know? Now it's more about maintaining the weight for sure. I, I'm very, very particular about the way that I wanna look and, and how I see myself in the mirror. But on top of that, I really wanna eat food that's more nutritious for my body. I want my body to continue to function properly as I age, you know? So anyway, that is what this video is gonna be about. So let's go ahead and jump in and let me share with you what I have prepared in my refrigerator. Okay, so one thing that I have in my refrigerator almost always, usually every single week, is just a giant salad. And this is just a spring mix with some cucumbers that I cut up, and then I also chopped up some red bell peppers. And that's all that's in there. Now the wonderful thing about a salad is that you can top it with anything and basically make it a meal. So if you have leftover chicken, um, you can chop it up and make a chicken salad. If you have leftover taco meat, you can make a taco salad. You can even just throw beans and corn on top of a salad and, and make a hearty you know meal out of that. So anyway, I always have some salad in my refrigerator. Okay, so this is something else that I like to always have prepared in my refrigerator, and this is just chicken salad. And I make it with canned chicken, and then I've got some onions in there and a little bit of dill relish. I also have some Hellman's Light mayonnaise in there. Now you can eat this several ways also. You can scoop it out and put it on a salad, so you can have like a chicken salad salad. <laughs> um, or you can put it in like a romaine lettuce boat and eat it kind of like a taco. You can also put it on little chips like this or little crackers. These are called Good Thins and they're gluten-free. They're made with corn and sea salt and they only have 120 calories for 38 pieces and only 1.5 grams of fat. So this is a really good option. A lot of times I'll just take one of these little crackers, scoop you know, some chicken salad on top and eat it that way. It's so delicious. Now you can also eat it you know, like a sandwich. I really love this keto bread. It's something that I've continued to buy even though I'm not on the keto diet anymore. Um, it's very high in fiber and I just love how dense it is and I just love it. So I will toast this up and then put some chicken salad on top of it. I might put some shredded lettuce also and then just eat it like a sandwich. Now, if I'm not watching my carbs, then I will eat it on this bread. I love this bread. It's flourless sprouted grain bread. It's called Ezekiel bread. And it's just, it just tastes like it's really good for you. And I love, I just love the texture. I love everything about it. So um, sometimes I will just toast some of this up, stick some of this on top and eat it like a sandwich, you know, with that kind of bread. So yeah, several options with the chicken salad. Okay, so something else that I always have to have prepared in my refrigerator are boiled eggs. Now we've obviously eaten those. My daughter eats boiled eggs every morning for breakfast and my husband loves to eat boiled eggs also. So, um, and I always label my carton. Like after I boil them, I put them right back in the same carton and then I just label them because obviously I keep more eggs in my refrigerator and I don't wanna make, make the mistake of cracking the wrong egg, right? But um, whenever I eat boiled eggs, I love to put avocado on my boiled eggs. And I put avocado on everything. So I make avocado really, really, or guacamole. I make guacamole with nothing in it except for some garlic salt, um, just really often, probably every two or three days. And I just store it in the, in the refrigerator. Now I have some cellophane or some plastic wrap over the top there because that just keeps it nice and fresh. You know, you just want, you don't want to allow any air to sit on top of your guacamole, otherwise it's gonna turn brown. And sometimes the edges will turn a little bit brown, but usually it'll stay nice and green for like two days at least. The third day, um, it's a little bit questionable. Now I eat avocado on everything. I love avocado. I make burritos, I make quesadillas, I 
put it on taco salads, I eat it on my eggs. Um, I've been replacing mayonnaise, like in my sandwiches, I've been replacing it with just a spread of avocado. I love the taste of avocado, it's so delicious. So nutritious, it is a little bit fattening, but it is a good fat, so it helps with digestion and stuff like that. Okay, so these are the last things that I have kind of prepared and ready to reach for in my refrigerator. If watermelon is in season, we will always have it cut up and in, you know, Tupperware in our refrigerator. It's just something that me and my family absolutely love, along with grapes and something about them already being plucked. I don't know what it is. If they're not plucked, they're not gonna be the first thing that I reach for. I'll reach for the watermelon or something. I don't know what it is, maybe I'm extra lazy. But, so I just know that I have to pluck them and have them ready to grab and toss into my mouth. <laughs> and I know it takes almost no effort to pluck it, but it's just, I'm just weird like that. So this is not the only container that I have in my refrigerator. I actually have two more in there right now because everybody in this family just reaches for grapes all the time. Um, so then I've got cucumbers. And my daughter and I love to eat cucumbers. We love to just dip cucumbers in ranch or a little dip that I've made. And I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. It's in this container right here. But um, sometimes we'll just have it like on the side of a meal. Instead of a salad or something, we might just have a big stack of um, sliced cucumbers. And it's, it's just kind of a filler food. They almost have like no calories, no fat, no nothing. I don't know, something about cucumbers. They just taste really fresh and they, they taste healthy. So then right here, I've got bell peppers. Now I'm the only one in this family. My kids, they won't eat raw bell, bell peppers. They just don't, they don't like them very much. Now I love the red ones. This is something that I acquired a taste for when I was on the keto diet. Um, whenever you are so restricted like you are on a keto diet, anything that has a different flavor than like meat tastes like the best thing you've ever put in your mouth. It's just kind of funny. Like I, I developed a newfound love for fruit whenever I was on the keto diet because if you just had a bite of an apple, it tasted like the sweetest, best thing you've ever put in your mouth. And now I absolutely love fruit. Before I could take or leave it, now it's like I always have fruit. I have so many apples in my refrigerator right now. The Honeycrisp apples are the absolute best, but um, I, don't, I don't chop them up because they will kind of turn brown really quickly. But anyway, so I love to munch on just raw bell pepper. I, I particularly love the red. The yellow don't have a lot of taste to them, so I like to dip them in other things, but the red ones I will just eat by themselves. And I usually eat them when I'm preparing dinner um, rather than, you know, munching on something I shouldn't be. Okay, so this is the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys right here, and I've showed it to you before. This is just a dip that I like to make um, just to try to cut down on fat and calories, and then also add a little nutrition to it. So what I have here is this French onion dip. It's just from my local grocery store. And if you look at the nutritional facts, it has 60 calories and five grams of fat per two tablespoons. Nobody is gonna sit down and eat two tablespoons of dip with their chips or you know cucumbers or whatever. So in order to kind of cut that in half, what I like to do is I like to add one container of this Greek yogurt. Now this Greek yogurt has zero fat. It's got 80 um, calories in the entire container and it also has 16 grams of protein. So I like to add it to my French onion dip and then I will just add some onion powder just to make sure that it keeps that, you know, French onion flavor. And y'all, all it does, it just ends up tasting exactly like this. But like I said, I've cut the fat um, because I've added something that has zero fat compared to something that has, you know, five grams of fat per two tablespoons. And then I've also added 16 grams of protein. So it's a perfect dip. Now, if I'm gonna dip chips in this, I will choose something like these salt and vinegar pork rinds. I know that sounds kind of weird, but if you're on a keto diet, you would really appreciate this. Now, if I'm, if I'm not worried about carbs that day, then I'm gonna dip something like this. These are just little, you know, I don't know what they're called, pretzel thins or something like that, pretzel crisps. And um, and the reason I choose these over regular chips is because they have no fat. So you can have, let's see, 11 of these crackers and it's got 110 calories and zero fat. Another thing that I might choose to dip in that dip are these good thins. They're so crispy, they're so delicious. I love dipping these. It's almost just like dipping you know, corn chips. 
And then the last option that, you know, I reach for sometimes if I'm wanting to, um, you know, have some sort of like chips and dip alternative, I will, I will choose these pita chips. They have 4.5 grams of fat per 12 chips and 130 calories. And I just like the taste of them. I like them all, all by themselves. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here. I always appreciate your time. Um, I guess I will have you know, information in my description box, probably just all the things that I showed you today cut up in my refrigerator, just in case you wanna cut them up too and have stuff ready to reach for. Um, like I said, it's a really good way to stay on track with your diet and eating. So anyway, I hope you're having a fantastic weekend and hopefully I will see you back here next week.